there was a heavy police presence in the area, but officers seem content to let the occupiers move in. No telling how long they'll be allowed to stay. Some here say they'll be lucky if they're still in their tents come Monday. We marched down here to 19th and Telegraph. After marching to Lakeview, coming back, marched down here, we broke down the fence, and we took over the lot. We set up our tents, and it was super nice. I had five people come and help me set up my tent. It was a community down there. I truly felt like I was in a community, more than when I'm just in my house, separated from everyone, isolated. There were people helping each other. We collected rainwater. Was there a sort of a festive atmosphere? Oh yeah, it was totally festive, it was totally great. so that we could sustain ourselves, so that we could wash dishes, so that we could have fresh drinking water. We nice. did all that so we wouldn't have to rely on the public works. Now was there a sound stage or anything? There or? was. There was a sound stage on a truck that the police unlawfully impounded and then one of their police cars, when two of our comrades were trying to keep the sound stage, one of their police cars ran over two of our friends. One of them has a busted up knee, and the other one, a woman, has a huge bruise on her thigh. Civil disobedience, to me, yes, it's breaking the law, but it's breaking the law for a purpose. This right. country was founded on civil disobedience. Civil rights, women's suffrage, all of those, civil disobedience. I had discourse with two police officers last night. It was great discourse. We had a wonderful discussion. But one of the things he said was, civil disobedience is wrong. That's wrong. So some people have said to me, you know, Jeff, it's Washington is the one that does the regulations. They're the ones that were asleep at the wheel. They didn't listen to Brooks Lee Bourne, the warnings, whatever. Then we had this crisis and all these jobs got lost. Why focus on, on Wall Street? Why focus on Wall Street? Because the big... Fat cats are sitting up there laughing at us, drinking champagne. The 1% is controlling everything and they're controlling it internationally. It's no longer about the United States. This is bigger than the United States. We need to take the United States back. This country was founded by the people, for the people. The Declaration of Independence says a pursuit of happiness is required, is a requirement of our people to do. Civil disobedience is how this country was founded. I, corporations cannot be running this country. The people need to be running this country. It is a dem democracy, not a plutocracy. And that's what we're fighting against with Wall Street and their corruption with big corporations and their owning of the whole system. The system is corrupt and it's up to the people to change it. Yeah. And that's what Thomas Jefferson wanted. That's what Martin Luther King wanted. That's what John F. Kennedy wanted. That's what you want. That's what I want. Down to the police department to the lobby. 
and they'll give you a form. It'll tell you if your property was taken here or there, or give you the phone number to Public Works. Oh, okay. You can call them on Monday and ask them about your property. Okay. Okay? Stretch just like it sounds. <laughs> and yeah, I'm not afraid nice. to use my real name because okay. this is a cause I'm fighting for.